Hey everyone, this is Olsen Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to add an eye icon like this and implement and show and hide. So like that you can toggle this, the show and hide feature on the password input. If you're new to the Crocoblock channel, please make sure to hit the subscription button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. So let's get started. Here are the topics that I would like to cover today. So the first is the requirement. All you need is Jet Form Builder and then creating a user registration form. If you know how to do this, you can skip that. The second one is how to add the eye icon to password field in the registration form. And then I'm gonna show you the results. All right, you have to install and activate the Jet Form Builder. And then, so let's go to add a new. And then you can start from scratch, but I think there is a uh, called pattern and then Jet Form, there is already a uh, pre-designed to registration form. So I'm gonna just use this. So right here. And I don't think I need um, uh, this column. Okay, so this is good and the password up. I'm gonna just remove uh, this country section. I don't need that. Okay, so I think those like a four fields. Okay, name, email, password, and confirm uh, password. All right, so then I'm gonna just uh, add a tag here, sign up, uh, because I need to register a user here. So let's go to, yeah, so new action. Um, this one is register user. Okay, and then like that. So user login. So I'm going to pick the name and the email is email, password and the password, and then confirm password, confirm password. Okay. And I don't have a first name, last name here. And I'm going to just skip that here and then just to skip this. And you can customize the message setting right here too. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit update. Okay. And again, so if you want to send automated email, uh, when new user registered, if you want to notify the user that the registration got success, uh, you can add a new action here. You can send an email or even like redirect to uh, like user account page right here. Okay, so I'm going to skip those today. And then go ahead and publish. And I'm going to add new page for the user registration. So go to page and add a new. And I'm going to type um, user registration page. And then so I'm going to uh, paste the short code. Just one sec. Let me just uh, open a new tab and then go to form. And so this is the registration form. So I'm going to just copy this and then paste on to this page. All right, so I'm go ahead and hit publish. And then let's take a quick look. So this is just regular registration page, so there's no icons here. All right, so let's add icons. Okay, you need to add a couple of codes here and the CSS and JavaScript and then PHP. So if you go to this URL, uh, you see this page on the GitHub. And then here, so first of all, um, this is a CSS code. So you need to copy this. So um, I use a code snippet plugin here. I use WP code Lite. So this is a free plugin. You can use any snippet plugin. So here, and I added already three. So let's take a look at the CSS. So this is the title. You can just put any title and the pick uh, CSS right here, and then uh, copy and paste this, okay? So which is this code, all right? Now, next one is JavaScript here, okay? So go here. So I already added here. So same thing, put the title here, and then pick a JavaScript, 
and then just copy this code onto this section. Okay, and then make sure this is activated and then hit update. Okay, and then the last one is PHP, so which is right here. So you put title here and then make sure you pick PHP snippet and then just copy this PHP code right on to uh, this code preview. Okay, so once again, activate it and hit update. And then let's go back to Jet from Builder and use a registration form. And then let's select password field. Okay. And if you scroll down, so it's uh, under block. If you scroll down, there's advanced option. And then scroll down here. And then make sure the field visibility, uh, check all. And the CSS class name here. Okay. So now let's just go back here, CSS class. So you just copy uh, here, let's use this I dash icon. Let me just copy that and then uh, paste on to right here. Okay. And another thing is I want to show that to the confirm password field as well. I'm going to do the same thing. Um, scroll down and there's some make sure. So this advanced is toggled, okay, it's expanded. And then the uh, same CSS class name is the high icon. Okay, so let's hit update. And let's go back to use our registration form. And then let's refresh this. Okay, so now you can see those high icons, okay? Now, so let's put uh, some password here. So now you can click this eye and then now you can see it. You can toggle that. Okay. And the same here. So you can just uh, click this and, and then you can hide it when you click it. So it works. That's it for today. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.